A real probiotic, it's live microbes, uh, a lot of them, known microbes, bacteria, um, that give a health benefit. Um, so it can be a yogurt, um, but with the right microbes in. So not every yogurt is probiotic. We know yogurts are in the supermarket. A lot of those microbes are in there to make yogurt. That doesn't make a probiotic. But a probiotic bacteria will have some um, other component or compound it'll deliver or uh, it'll do things once it gets into your body. If, if we think about probiotics that we ourselves will buy, go to the pharmacy, you'll buy a capsule with freeze-dried bacteria in there. Um, are they known strain or a few strains of bacteria different species? They're in that capsule freeze-dried because that's you can keep them relatively stable, alive. Microbes like the right condition to stay alive. If you give them some warmth, they'll, they'll start growing and eat up everything around them and they'll soon starve themselves to death. So you either stick them in the fridge like yogurt, but if you take yogurt out of the fridge, it's gonna spoil, so how do you stop that? You freeze dry the bacteria. But then that might not necessarily be everything that a, pa a probiotic is. There's everything they make. They make antibiotic-like compounds called bactericins and volatile compounds that have other roles. It's, it's how they do their job. And so a freeze dried product can have those missing. They get sucked away essentially in the drying process. And then freeze dried bacteria, when you add them to water, if you ingest them or dilute them, uh, it's a pretty big shock. You'll lose a lot that way. And if they're not alive, they're not a probiotic. So I started working with probiotic formulations, stabilizing them, keeping them alive, putting them in a, in a way you could feed them to animals or, or people. And um, freeze dried type products, or products that are out there that they call themselves probiotics, but are dead. They can be nothing but dead. Um, calling themselves probiotics um, raised my natural high level of cynicism. Um, Biobrew came on the market a few years ago, or maybe a little bit longer, and um, it struck me, oh, they're live probiotics, live microbes, and I thought, oh gosh, how, what are they doing with those? They're either keeping them in the fridge or they'll, they'll be going off. And um, then I learned, no, actually, they're putting them out there and, uh, and, um, fresh. Um, instructing their customers to use them quickly and supplying more you know, weeks later. So they're live and they have high mi microbial content and they know the strains that are in there and there's everything else in there, nothing's removed. Uh, so they're not removing things by freeze drying it or filtering it or um, stripping it down. So it's live microbes, it's the other compounds, they're in a food source, they're actively metabolizing. So it ticks all the boxes really, or nearly all the boxes of what a probiotic is. You've got microbes that are hitting the ground running, they're actively metabolizing, they're doing what they, you want them to do when they say get in the gut or however you're ingesting them. So, so fresh or active, they're using the food around them, they're producing these compounds. Um, so if you were to eat them, administer them to an animal, they're, 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 they're there already. You take a freeze-dried thing, you'll shock a lot of them, you'll kill a lot of them when you reanimate them, when you add them to water, and then they'll take time to get up to activity, so to speak. So fresh, high numbers, minimal shock, you've got everything else that's there. So makes sense. Do the job. So metabolites, they're compounds that, that bacteria make. Bacteria don't just sit there. When they grow, they produce chemicals, they produce materials to to keep away their competition. Their competition are other microbes. So they launch germ, a chemical warfare on them. Um, they pump out antibiotics, they pump out bactericins, they pump out materials to suppress their neighbors. They pump out materials that enhance the growth of, of the rest of their colony. And then they'll also put out materials to modify the environment that they're in. So maybe dampen down the immune system of the gut that they're in. Uh, so they have an immune response modulating role as well. And that can help make for a better gut. You don't want an overactive immune system. You don't want an underactive immune system. So probiotics tend to make the environment better for themselves, less better for their competition, but at the same time also making a, a better gut environment for ourselves. And that's those chemical metabolites they're putting out.